hi everyone welcome to today's video and in today's video we're going to talk about four part tips to improve your fiverr gig ranking if you're new to the channel welcome and if you're already a part of the brim tribe welcome back leave a comment in the comment section like the video all of these things actually help push the video out to people who need to see them and keep our channel afloat thank you in advance I'm going to breeze through these tips so let's get into it number one is use fiverr search bar suggestions to improve your gig title and gig description now this one is very simple and it's like the oldest trick in the book on any search based platform so now if you come on fiverr and you just need to search a very top keyword in your niche so for instance i am a i'm in the music niche so i can come in here and say um, singer and then I go through these suggestions that are dropped down for me here and you can see um, I have a bunch of them this is basically what people are searching what buyers are mostly searching when they come to look for singers so what you simply do is use some of these things in your title because these are things that people are looking for and you also want to this also tells you the maybe the genre of music that people are mostly searching for and here i can see edm is there i can see pop so i can do a dedicated i can create a dedicated gig to edm and say i will be your edm singer or something like that i'll be your pop i'll be your male pop singer or something so that makes your gig very niche specific and very targeted so you get the idea you can play around with this and you can play around with many different keywords and see what the suggestions will bring up and then use those words in your gig description and in your gig title also when you go into your description find ways clever ways to put the um the keyword edm singer in my description without necessarily doing any keyword stuffing now keyword stuffing is when you just put in a bunch of keywords without making sense just copy and paste keywords and it doesn't really make sense it doesn't look like something a human wrote uh, it doesn't convey any message you want to avoid that you can actually get penalized for that on fiverr and many other platforms this is a really powerful one and it's the oldest one in the book in fact youtubers actually use the same strategy to come up with um, video titles that will rank in search the second tip is to leverage fiverr packages offering a cheap basic package and more expensive standard and premium packages now what this does is it improves your impressions and click-through rate so what i see most people do is um, they would have their base packages or their basic packages very expensive well expensive is relative so but you want to look at what's in your niche like you want to look at other gigs in your niche and decide um, what is the base point or what is the average it could be like the highest maybe fifty dollars and the lowest maybe five dollars so you want to find a sweet spot you don't want to be too cheap but also you don't want to be too expensive but basically overall you want to make sure that that base thing kind of pulls people in because like it or not some people really want very cheap service that's one another thing is even the big buyers the big spenders they actually want to sometimes test out your work with a simple your basic package and they don't want to spend too much on that because they know that they're going to actually go on to purchase the premium or the standard which will be more expensive which will be what they want but they just want to test you out so if your basic package is cheap enough for them to do that test then it's going to improve your impressions it's going to improve your click-through rate and potentially increase your overall sales so think of the basic plan as your magnet not necessarily where you make the money okay moving on the third tip is gig video i cannot stress this enough it's really really powerful if you can make a gig video where you show your face and speak to the your potential buyers and connect with them on a very personal level you can write really great descriptions you can make really great titles but nothing beats a good video where people see the, the face behind the brand. People really want to connect with the person who is actually doing the work for them. So if you can speak with them, show your face on camera, then this will be really powerful to drive um, more traffic and drive your sales up. Now, granted, this will not be for everybody. There are some people who are just not really good at um, showing up on camera. Uh, but if you know that you're going to hurt your gig, maybe because you're not a good presenter or something like that if you know that you can't this will not work you will tell yourself the truth you know you need to be sincere with yourself and say okay this is not going to really work for me there's no one size fit all not everything will work for everyone you can just make do with a really good um, graphic image for your gig you can if you can't do it yourself you can invest in paying someone to do a really great um, catchy graphic image for your gig 
that can also suffice but if you can i'm saying if you can and also you don't need some fancy expensive gear you can shoot something on your phone but just be natural as possible engage with your potential buyers last but not the least is to experiment a lot if your gig is not getting traction then it simply means that most or all of the things that you have are not working and possibly you need a total overhaul so i'm talking your profile pictures your gig images or gig videos your title your description you know and all of those things that really put your gig together so if for a long time you're looking at your impressions and i also employ you to look at your analytics from time to time so that you see where you're at and see your impressions your click-through rate you want to look at where they are and see if your gig is actually even being seen by anyone but so if it's static for a while then you know that you need to make some changes and experiment with different titles with different gig descriptions with adding more keywords with um, looking at your gig in the back end to see if maybe you're in the proper category and subcategory and all those small things i know that this happened to me one time um, in one of my top ranking gig right now on Fiverr. At first, it wasn't doing so well. And at some point, I decided to just go and do this overhaul. I changed a lot of things, rewrote the entire description, changed my title and everything. I used the strategy, the first strategy I showed you guys, search bar suggestions, and really dialed in my my title. And before long, I started to see my impressions went, went up. I started to see my click-through rate went up and, and I started to get a lot more orders. Experiment a lot. Don't just do one thing and experiment that that thing that first thing you did that first title you chose is going to fix everything is the, is the perfect one no sometimes it may not be sometimes the second one the third one may not even work uh, and also give it some time maybe every single month you you check and see how it's doing and the next month you can change something but if you find something that works stick with it for quite a while before you think about changing anything don't just change things for no reason i hope you found this video insightful please leave your thoughts and your comments and your questions in the comment section and Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.